Hey guys, it's Sam here and today I will show you how to create and print hundreds of visiting cards right from Microsoft Word. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Click Page Layout tab and go to Page Setup Group. Now click the Size button and select A4 size page if not already selected. Click Mailing tab and go to Start Mail Merge Group. Click Start Mail Merge button and select labels now from label vendors select Microsoft select a4 portrait from this product number and click details we want to create 10 visiting cards per a4 size space so this number across means number of columns which is 2 and this number down means number of rows which is 5 2 column and 5 rows will divide our page into 10 parts change this label height to our visiting card height which is 5.2 cm and label width will be 8.8 .8 cm which is our visiting cards width vertical and horizontal page let us give space between our visiting cards i am keeping them same as the height and width of my visiting card so there will be no space between two visiting cards also make sure you have selected this option instead of landscape click ok and click ok again as you can see our page is now divided into 10 parts but the borders are not clearly visible so select all by pressing ctrl plus a and now click home tab and go to paragraph group and click lower arrow of border button and select all borders now click page layout tab and change margins value to narrow we got 10 cells but we will create our visiting card in this first one. Other cells will be automatically populated later. Click in the first one and zoom in so that it will be easier to work with. Hold down the control key and use your mouse scroll to zoom in and out. Now click insert tab and select shapes button from illustrations group. Now select this rectangle shape and draw it over the first cell change its fill color to white and outline to no outline click insert tab click shapes button and select rectangle again Draw it like this. Change its fill color to gray and outline to no outline. Now from insert shapes group, select this shape and draw it like this. You can change its roundness by clicking this yellow dot and dragging it. Rotate it and place it over here. Let's make it bigger. And change its fill color to red. Outline to no outline. Adjust it. Okay, this looks good. Maybe a little bit smaller. Now click insert tab. Click shapes button and select this text box. Draw it over the red one and type in the name. 
which clearly has a spelling mistake that I have noticed after recording my video. Anyways, select it and click Home tab and change the font to Century Schoolbook. Maybe make it uppercase. Yes, it does look better in uppercase. Okay, make it bold. Now we need to remove the background color of the shape. So select the shape, click Format tab, click Fill color and change the fill color to no fill. Also click shape outline and select no outline. Make this little bit smaller and select the text. Click home tab and change the text color to white. Now let's make this text little bigger. Maybe 12. Okay, it needs some adjustment. Now we need to duplicate it. So first select it and hold your control key and drag it. Also you can press control plus D to duplicate. Now type in the occupation or designation. Now select it and remove bold. Also make it smaller maybe 9 or 8 now change its font to Calibri reduce the width of the text box and align the text to right side okay place it over here a little adjustment to make it slick now we need a logo you can insert a ready-made one, but I'm gonna create my own. Click insert, click shapes, and select this love or heart sign. Draw it over here. Change the fill color to red and outline to no outline. Now we need to make a plus sign. So click insert, click shapes, and select this one draw it like this change fill color to white and outline to no outline now make it little bigger so that we can make it round use this yellow dot to make it round now make it smaller make it slim reduce the height and duplicate it by pressing Ctrl D or hold your Ctrl key while dragging it. Now we need to rotate it. Go to Arrange Group and click Rotate button. Select any 90 degree option from here. Place it over the previous one so that it look like a plus sign. Hold your Ctrl key and select both. Now right click on them and click group and group again now select this group and click shape effect button click shadow and select this shadow now we need another text box for writing the name of the organization let's not duplicate text boxes this time click insert tab click shapes and select another text box draw it like this and type in the organization name click home and select aquatico font link to this font is available in the video description below adjust the text box size so that the font can fit inside select the text and reduce its size go to format tab and change shape fill to no fill and shape outline to no outline Make this text box little larger to fit another line of text. We need to remove this extra line spacing. So select the text, click home tab, click line spacing button and remove space after paragraph. Select the second line of text and reduce its size. Now type in the text. This is the slogan of the organization. Now select it and change its font 
okay we can make it larger because the second font is smaller than the first one make the heading bold I forgot to group the shapes of the logo so select the shapes by holding control key right click on them and click group and group again click insert tab click shapes button and select circle draw it over here change its fill color to white and outline to no outline now duplicate this circle three times by holding ctrl key while dragging it or press ctrl D now select all three rectangles by holding ctrl key and adjust their position now duplicate another text box by dragging it while holding ctrl key or press ctrl plus D after selecting it place it over here make it a little larger now go to home and click align left button adjust the text box and type in the phone numbers okay in the second line type the second phone number but we need to remove the line spacing so select them click line spacing button and select remove space after paragraph again click line spacing button and change line spacing value to 1.0 change the font to icon moon free this is the icon font which is available to download in the video description below remove extra height of the text box now duplicate it by holding ctrl key while dragging it now type in the email address now duplicate it again and enter the address All details I am writing here are random and frictional. Now we need to duplicate another text box. Hold Ctrl key while dragging it or press Ctrl plus D. Remove the text. Change the text color to black. Now reduce its width and place it over the first rectangle. Click inside, click insert and click symbols. Click more symbols. Now select this phone symbol which is part of Icomoon free icon package which is available to download in video description click insert and click close change the icon size to 10 and adjust the text box accordingly maybe gray color will look better so select it and choose gray color duplicate this text box type add direct sign inside make it bold and increase its size to match the symbol now duplicate the phone symbol again and place it over the third one select it and click insert tab now click symbols button and click more symbols this time select this location symbol and click insert click close we can make it a little bigger okay also increase the phone symbol size
now we will create a QR code here so that people can scan it open your web browser and go to this QR code monkey dot com link is available in the video description and click V card from here enter the information that you wrote on the visiting card like first name last name organization name etc but I will suggest you to keep it short because if you write too much text the QR code will be hard to scan first name last name organization phone number I am skipping the address fields. After typing all information, click create QR code to generate your QR code. And download it. You can reduce its size and click QR code again. Anyway, now we are going to download it and place it in a blank space on your page select it click format tab click text wrap button and select in front of text now reduce its size and place it over this blank area reduce its size little more adjust it okay our visiting card is almost ready now do any modification you need to do any kind of adjustment as I am doing some adjustment over here okay it looks better the design is ready now hold your control key and use your mouse scroll to zoom out now we need to copy this exact visiting card to other cells so click mailings tab and click update labels and you can see all sales are populated with this same visiting card if you want you can add extra space between them like this I'm just doing some rough work okay no card is going outside the page so you can adjust little more okay this step is not necessary for everyone so you can skip it if you want 
ओके इट्स रेडी नाउ सिलेक्ट ऑल क्लिक होम टैप एंड रिमूव द बॉर्डर्स डेट वी हैव एडिट इन द बिगिनिंग क्लिक लोअर एरो ऑफ दिस बॉर्डर बटन एंड सिलेक्ट नो बॉर्डर क्लिक आउटसाइड एंड विथ दिस लास्ट स्टेप आवर विजिटिंग कार्ड्स आर रेडी टू प्रिंट नाउ क्लिक फाइल एंड क्लिक प्रिंट इफ यू वॉन्ट हंड्रेड विजिटिंग कार्ड्स प्रिंट टेन कॉपीज एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टेन विजिटिंग कार्ड्स प्रिंट वन कॉपी इफ यू विश टू मोडिफाई दिस विजिटिंग कार्ड फर्दर आई सजेस्ट यू टू सेव इट एज डॉक एक्स फॉर्मेट बट इफ यू आर ट्राइंग टू प्रिंट इट देन सेव इट एज पी डी एफ फॉर्मेट बिकॉज पी डी एफ फाइल्स आर इजियर टू प्रिंट सो आई एम सेविंग वन कॉपी एज पी डी एफ क्लिक सेव बटन एंड क्लिक ब्राउज now choose a place where you want to save i'm saving in a desktop visiting card of dr rahul sharma select pdf and click save the template i have created in this video is available to download in video description below you can use it anywhere you want If you like this video please hit like button and don't forget to share it with your friends and also if you don't like it tell me why in the comment section hit subscribe if you want to see this kind of videos in future and don't forget to hit that bell icon see you in the next video i'm sam signing out